Hey guys, John Velasco again here with Phone Arena. I got the HTC Flyer in my hands. I'm just going to run a couple of benchmark tests just to get a good tally, a quick tally, of course, of what kind of results I'll put up uh, versus some of the other devices we've checked out recently. So let's first get started with Quadrant. Let's run that. We already ran it, so we'll run it for you again here. We'll do it two times just to get a good tally. As far as the operation goes with the tablet, it's pretty good, um, even for just uh, normal things such as uh, scrolling, navigating across the home screens with all the graphical elements in place. It runs fairly smoothly. So far from the short time that I've been using it, it doesn't seem choppy or sluggish at all in, in uh, any of its operations. And right here with the graphical components of this test, running roughly around 18 to 20 frames per second. So just for this one here. The next one will give us a little bit more. Uh, it's moving here at roughly 54, 55 pr frames per second. So pretty smooth in that aspect. And the last graphical test component looks like 27, 28 frames per second. So we'll get the first test results here. So let's take a look. So it looks like you got a score of 2241. Pretty good again for a 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor, uh, single core, not dual core. You can tell it easily handles uh, some of the other devices out there. Nexus One, the Droid X on 2.2 and up, and even the Evo. So pretty good uh, results there, but still not quite as, as good as some of the dual core processors on some smartphones like the uh, Galaxy S2, even the the uh, LG Optimus 2X. Let's just run it one more time. And then after this, we'll show you the um, the Antutu benchmark test, what we got with that. And overall, it doesn't take too long for the uh, HTC Flyer to actually complete the uh, test here. So fairly quickly versus some of the lower or mid-range handsets out there, which does take quite some time to complete the test. So again here, roughly around 14 to 18 frames per second. So we'll wait for this to load. And then the second graphical component test here looks like roughly around 55 frames per second. And again, the size of the display makes it ideal for games, so you should expect to see a great experience with that area. So this time around, it looks like we managed to get 2263. Um, still, still not as uh, not as strong or not as good as for some of the dual core dual core handsets out there. Most recently, we checked out the Droid X, and it did put up uh, better numbers than the uh, Flyer here. So let's let's just show you what we have with the uh, Antutu benchmark test here. And it gave us an overall score. Let's just go back here to show you. It gave us gave us a, a total score of 2761. So not 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 eye catching or all that spectacular, but definitely up there versus some of the uh, other single core handsets out there in the market. So when we do it, when we look at the at the uh, score test here. Um, it's uh, roughly behind things like the Motorola Zoom, the Optimus 2X, and again, those devices have uh, dual core processors. This one here is right there, 202761. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you want to learn more about the HTC Fly, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.